Okay, I'm on my way. I know there's something it's oh specifically God. with this game and it's specifically with certain parts of this game that does it. There's something <clears throat> that the game loads that's only in a couple p places in the game that OBS it like dehooks. It'll just crash my my play driver. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. Don't know what. But why? I'll figure it out if I care eventually. Probably Wait, where, won't happen. Where were there two characters named Toomba and Pimon? Uh, we uh, killed them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we yeah. killed them. I killed Toomba. I think we killed re uh, many Pimones. That's pretty great. Yeah, we, we, killed, we killed many things. Speaking of Disney, I mm -hmm. cannot wait for Aladdin to come out. The last several live action Disney movies have been very disappointing, but this one actually looks really good. It better not suck. I will not forgive them for putting I, Will Smith as a genie, but everything else looks good. I, I feel like Will Smith is one of the options that they... that it wow. wasn't terrible. Yo. I want them to make He's new movies. He's just gonna Will dun, Smith dun, it up, dun, though. Dun, 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 dun. I agree, Shelly. They just do need to have some more toying. We need to adapt that, yes. other... Other fairy tales, or make up something of their own, like just something. Well, it's weird because with Frozen, they keep claiming that it's based on Hans Christian Andersen's uh, was it Snow Queen. Snow Queen, but oh it has no, it's but no it is like, yeah. And I'm like, why do they even bother saying it's based on? I'm okay with them saying it's an original story. You guys, do you understand what this bird is in front of us? This it's is Mordecai's bird. I know. They, they changed it. They slagged it. They infected it with fire. Oh, it's messed up. So we gotta bring it, it down so that way we can, you know, try to save it. Watch your claws! Oh, of course you resist. Of course you resist. Ouch. Get her back to sanctuary. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Zed can patch her up. Yeah, That's maybe, maybe, idea. maybe Zed, the unlicensed doctor, can fix the bird getting giant and on fire. Stop fighting him! Holy God! Is she breathing fire? Electricity. Breathe and fire. Electricity. Yep. Oh no. Is there like a hierarchy of weaknesses for each type? Uh, or do you have to use the same energy? For this fight, I'm not sure the resistance has changed. I assume. I mean, their their boss health meter is just red. Oh, as far as like when they switch, I'm not sure. I I, I assume it's tied to the health bar. Get them my shotguns. Take down that bird! <laughs> oh my children! Take it easy! Corrosion! Yeah, because I think the original Snow Queen was. Uh, there was this mirror that had been shattered and a shard got into the eye of a boy who's the yeah. like brother to this young girl. And she goes on this crazy adventure where she nearly gets eaten by a witch in a cabin and then there are gyp gypsies that capture her and. It's very, it's Watch very out. dark. Oh god. That's the last oh, element. Oh. oh my god, that's messed up. That is why you don't screw with me. You and your little friend Mordecai oh. turn yourselves in, or that dumbass Three. bird is just the beginning. Oh. Damn it, Archer. Damn it, Jack. I'm gonna kill you. You hear me? You want ants? I'm sorry about Bloodwing, soldier. Because oh that's God, how you get ants. Oh, <laughs> that to clap trap. Not the time. The security field leading to control the man's control. bird is dead. Also, that's how you get ants. Oh, yeah. the cast has well, ammo you pick up is shared to teammates. Just Google to yeah. confirm. Are you serious? Yeah. It, which is why Listen, I can pick up ammo for some Which is why we can I... pick up ammo we don't need. I didn't know that. I've played this game like a dozen times. <clears throat> Holy cow, the things! There's still reasons to live, you guys! I'm learning new <laughs> stuff still! The Kaz, thank you for that revelation! That's so well, cool! I feel like slightly less of a selfish asshole <laughs> now that I've yeah. been just absorbing <laughs> all of these... all of this ammo. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up. Up everything. I'm even gonna give a second thought. And I'm full of oh, stuff. Where the hell is... Oh, I had a violin somewhere. I was gonna play it all sarcastically. God <laughs> damn it, it was gonna be awesome. Blake! Oh. Where's a bloody violin? Music here is really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just like now. music. This lighthouse. Yeah. That looks of it. I like it. 
There's actually water on this planet. Nice. Jack's gotta die. I mean, he already had to die because of... We, we didn't see it in action, but remember in the very beginning he talked about that diamond horse that was alive and suffering to live. Aww. Called Butt Stallion. So, yeah. he's in the habit of torturing animals, let's just say, and that's the hallmark of someone who's gonna die in the end. Yep. I, I really actually liked the plot arc for Jack in the pre-sequel. Like, I, I vaguely remember it being kind of interesting. Uh, the weird wasn't. thing is, I, I remember he didn't start. He just started off as like a huge ambitious jerk. I, I guess like we shouldn't like spoil anything further because I know Moose hasn't played, uh, and we do plan on playing it at some point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 I mean, we've been presumably after this, unless something more important pops up, or we decide right. to play something yeah. else in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, I agree. His, his arc was interesting. He starts off as just like your typical like snarky IT like. You know, Silicon Valley kind of like asshole guy. But then the power um, gets to his head. Yeah, things happen, basically, you know, things happen. Comes handsome Jack. One thing, I mean, losing your face can do yeah. something good. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, he loses his face. Well, I mean, he has a mask no, on, so I no, no, I can no, only I assume. <clears throat> no, I'm 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 teasing. That's that's <laughs> actually I'm laughing because that's so simple, but that's such that that's so that's so right. Like if I lost my face, I would become such a bad person. Let me know if anything I mean, catches your eye. No, I, I would. <clears throat> I'm not being sarcastic Can't even. That's why I'm laughing because it fits so well. It just reminds me of um oh what was it the Michael Keaton and. Jack Nicholson Joker, you know, falling into the vat and becoming <laughs> the Joker that way, and how it completely warps him. Though supposedly the chemicals in part got to his head, but his appearance was changed too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah didn't I he like throw some... Harley Quinn in there or something? No, no, Harley uh, Quinn isn't in that. It depends on the which well, mythos you're working with or like which telling, because yes, there's one where he convinces her to go in willingly. Because she was his doctor or something weird. Yeah, his psychologist. psychologist but because yeah. isn't that most of the isn't that most of the storylines is that she was assigned to uh, to shrink him? Well, that was the OG yeah. comic version. Yeah. He like fell in love with him basically. See, so gotta like, in here. Hey, deliver upgrade to claptrap. Hey, yep. Claptrap, where's your pile of trash at? Oh, yeah, it's his birthday if you want to play the boombox next to him. <laughs> it's Claptrap's birthday. Now I just got to find Claptrap. He's over here. Oh, okay. It's always the last place I look. Over by Zed, because where else would the trash be? Oh. Probably lives off organics. Never lives of Zed's victims. Oh. By the way, you guys missed this because you were still setting up, but uh, we were supposed to go invite uh, people for Claptrap's birthday, and they all said yes. no. Uh -huh. So now he's just dancing <laughs> alone oh. while we watch him. Yeah. It's Claptrap's birthday. Why don't we dance with him? Oh, yeah, I can dance too. Here we go. Yeah, let's dance. Doot, doot, doot. I call do, this do, one do, the Doot Doot. Doot 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 Doot. Well, this one's the Dut Dut. Oh. Kind of, I don't know. That looks an awful <laughs> lot like the Doot Doot. <laughs> I'm, about to say, I'm about to say I'll challenge you to a duel if you don't step off my doot doot. That's what the man they called Mr. Doot. I miss listening to it. was pretty good. Adding a beat. Hmm? I was really Wonder hoping Wonder you could destroy this. this. Oh. Who makes this radio? That's good. That's good material. Blasting on think, the boombox? I think that might just be a rock. Yeah, we should have made Bloodwing out of that. <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't played this game 12 times already, I would say too soon. But I'd say I'm finally now ready to laugh at that. Uh, too soon. That, that looks good. Pizza. Uh, oh, pizza. I know, the pizza next to Claptrap. Doesn't even have to look like good pizza. All you have to do is give me the abstract concept of pizza, and I'm like, oh, pizza. Yeah. I really want to use uh, the coupons that we got to get the Indian pizza that's supposedly near us. Indian pizza? Yeah, it's like they put curry, like chicken makhni and chicken tikka masala and stuff on pizza. That sounds delicious. Oh. 
Don't make this awkward. The cat says it's only seven years old. It's too soon. Yeah, when is it not too soon for that kind of thing? I mean, it's a terrible tragedy what happened to Bloodwing, but... Is it... Was it, is it the 50-year-old? Is that a thing? It's a 50-year-old. We gotta wait... We gotta wait another 43 years, you guys. Okay, okay. I'm making it weird again. 50-year rule for what again? Before you can, like, make jokes about someone important who died. I remember a long time ago hearing about a 50-year rule. Or like a, not, maybe not a person, but like a tragedy. Yeah, I feel like people are making Holocaust jokes in the 90s. Still not appropriate. No, you should not make Holocaust jokes in general. Especially because yeah. that situation has been kind of reignited as of late. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm We've had to ban a lot of people from Discord is, because of terrible uh, memes. Did, did yeah. you guys... Did you guys see Claptrap spinning like crazy because I was yes. standing inside of him? He was spinning in an abnormal way, yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because he was like trying to look at you. 25.5 years. Yeah. I'm, I'm specifically thinking of the Titanic because people were like, you know, people waited like 50 years before they started talking about that Titanic. But also... It was a different time. That was, it was, it, it was a different time. Like, also, well, they were rich people. Also, there was oh. a movie made like, what was it, like two weeks after Titanic sunk? And it starred one of the survivors, and the movie has been lost, but it's been uh, known as the most insensitively made movie of all time. Really? Mm. Yeah. Which movie? They, they, they like forced the survivors to stand in first. like a fake sinking thing or something? The very first Titanic movie. Yeah, well, yeah, it was just very simple. No, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. But it's just so soon, like way too soon. They're like, hey, Titanic survivor, I know it's only been two yeah. weeks, but uh, why don't you stand there while we like hose you in the face and then there make were... a shot that looks like you're drowning. Definitely 9-11 movies that were made. Oh, man. I don't think any of them were good either. I, I feel really bad for any of those movies because there were a number of movies that specifically preempted 9-11 with the plot of more or less 9-11. Where they destroy the towers, or they yeah. there's depictions yeah. of the towers there being were, there destroyed. There were games and movies that had to be put off or just flat out not released because of that happening. I think or even altered. Lord of the Rings, the two towers, they were considering changing the title because they're going, mm, it's too close. Guys. That's the that's that's the market. Okay. Hey, Roland! Holy crap, you want to go bowling? The guy got shot in the shoulder and he just hid behind cover and what the? threw Bloodwing out. She is oh just God. sliding. What the heck? The siren's just sitting here trash talking Mordecai, and I know it's supposed to just be this like background thing that happens when you walk by, but his bird just died. Uh huh. And he's right around the door, like drinking, drinking himself to sadly. Death. Yep, I see the little exclamation this point above his head. Christ, Aww. Lilith. Oh, he wanted to deliver that note to a bandit leader known as the Slab King. Now he used to be a part of the Crimson Raiders. What a Raiders nasty girl! It's got too brutal. I didn't think ripping Hyperion officials limb from limb in front of my cousin want to go bowling. He disagreed. My, my actual Still, cousin used to say that to me after uh, help us get uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 came out. Core angel. <laughs> Because I mean, no, Malik. Is there a I mean, reference? They're not Russian, but the Arabic accent gets close enough to saying, "Hey, cousin, you want to go bowling?" <laughs> so he would just say that to me all the time. What? Is oh, I know who food? Slap King is. Interested? Bloodwing's dead. Crackaholics. The are they? Oh, I don't know about you. Only Listen to the plight of the of the poor widowed oh, man, the bird widow. Dogs run rack ale out of the dust. <laughs> Kasi, Blast the kegs off one bowling. of their booze runners and get them for me. Making any progress on that mission? Mission's going okay, I'd say. Anything to report? <gasps> I... Poor guy. Just lost his like his soulmate. Like, how are you doing? His spirit really nice. animal. Yeah, I... his spirit. Oh yeah. Animal. I Tenley. What was your spirit animal at that bar? Yeah, we were wondering. Uh, it was an orca oh. whale. Are you guys talking oh, about that vending nice. machine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we tried yeah, They both machine. got the same animal. It's hilarious. They're both orca? elephants, right? Yeah. Yeah, we both oh, got elephants. Oh, Shell both got elephants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. But we didn't, get, we didn't get the opportunity to ask anybody else, and it was like, oh, yeah, yeah. we should probably find that out. I think everyone was just so tickled by the fact that you guys got the same one. I can't remember. <laughs> didn't Enna, like, legit get a shark? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, what was this whole must be validating. Uh, mine was the electric eel. It was I talking about it. how I am often overlooked, but not for long. I surprise people with my electrifying oh. presence. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love it. I'm not sure why not. And how we can't forget things. Yeah, how you can't let go of the past. <laughs> <laughs> the memories will haunt you forever. It was very dark. <laughs> but also about being wise. Who's what was yours? I mean, I got an orca whale. They didn't remember the, what the little paper. The orc whale. Yeah, no, no. I actually still have mine. Oh, That's mine's actually right here in front of me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're sending me. I got all this mine little little sheet of paper. Mine says, "Oh, I'll wait till Scooter preps himself." Okay, I think he's done. Mine yeah. says, "La Anguilla Electrica. Your presence is electrifying, and you are a master of surprise. Sleek, stealthy, and inconspicuous when you want to be. In an instant, you can stun, shock, and all those around you. You are feared, admired, and often underestimated, but not underestimated for long." I'm just imagining it's Joe, flattering. like, oiled up with a taste. That's it. <laughs> you just described me on a Thursday evening. Sure, he does That's... do that. It's a little weird. You do not have to do much convincing to get me to do that. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the animals, and I suppose in our case, elephants, we went to the zoo the other day. We got to see eh? the elephants. They they were pretty active. I yeah, was, yeah, I was yeah, rather surprised. They have a big area now, so. Because they were... Oh, right. They, they also were... just got a lesser panda. Oh, we didn't see that. Didn't see the panda. They might not have the exhibit, the exhibit up yet. Now that yet. I'm thinking about it. Thanks, sugar. I've been meaning to upload these. Oh, the lesser panda. Hi. They're not lesser. Well, that's why most people call them red pandas. Assuming these I'm not are some up and guns. Yes. Where'd you find some guns? Some guns? Oh, are the ones that uh, that Moxie gave Moxie. Me? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm curious if the mod changes them, because I recall them not being that powerful. They're red. I don't know what red is. Um, okay, all right, I'll buy into this. Here, Moxie, give me a super cool gun. Give, me, give it to me. Moxie, I've given you so much money. Try just tab to pressing tab. You might... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap, you're right. Uh, it was the <laughs> quest reward. Yes, Wait, okay. the quest reward is here? Oh, yeah, it's red. Because Moxie has red hat. Bad. Moxie's That's a endowment. Cool gun. Restores health as you deal damage. Hey, that ain't bad. Well, not good for me, though, because I'm not much of a... Stopping melt. Oh, but I yeah, the vending machine is hilarious. They change out what's in there pretty often. Uh, there used to be a uh, pre stamped angry <laughs> postcards of Donald Trump. By, like, you know, oh, that's, that's one of the things you could get? Yeah. Just an angry uh, letter to Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw some of those. Did I just uh, get the weapon? Oh, I got 777. What did I get? They have instant uh, tarot card readings, which are kind of fun. But you might get some use out of Moxie, give me the gun. She's Moxie, give me. I think we broke her. Look, she's just stuck handing okay, it. Okay, well, she gave me two guns. One might be yours. Uh, <laughs> you stole my Moxie gun. <laughs> I I might have. Uh, let's see. I've got a machine gun and I've got an SMG. I don't. Uh, let's see. Here, I'm gonna drop the SMG. Oh, ooh. did you ooh, get it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me look. Yeah. See. Uh, ooh, uh, corrosive. Yeah, thanks. I'll give it a, I'll give it a whirl. I have to drop some. Word up. Clearly, it, I just need to throw all of my money at my, oh my god. Wonder, Wonder about, how, do I, got a, how do I pick this up? Just got, this a, is a, just got a quote on our channel. Uh, it, the quote is, I just imagine Joe oiled and armed with a taser. <laughs> Wonder, I'm fine with that, yeah. How do I get the skin? Uh, if, if, you're full. That means you already have it. I already have it. Yep. No. Thank you. Hey, by the way, Shell, how you much got money? It? How much money do you have? Um, let me see. I have nineteen thousand. Okay, come over here and tip the crap out of Moxie. Okay. <laughs> you know. I, I can't Nothing seem to weird. see the actual button to tip. Uh, just move over to the side, or did we clean her out? I. Huh. Yeah, I, mean, I was wondering. Yeah, do you think maybe she? Uh, it's just maybe like a, we a have group to thing. Maybe we have to reset the area. Perhaps. Her arm is extended, like oh. she's accepting something, or she. Has you know what? I think we hand. did bug her out, Joe. Yeah, she's bugged. Yeah, so she was supposed to hand us a gun. I guess we'll come back later. So you can buy guns with her by just throwing money at her, and eventually she'll give you a really, really good gun. Yeah. Oh look, garbage. 
Yeah, tipping has uh -oh, a bug. Uh-oh, boom time. I don't even care. Fine, boom me. I don't care. See, see what I... Oh, 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 I care a little bit. Okay, picking the quest. We're going to go find the once in future slag. Or slag, slab. Which I'm okay. pretty sure is just brick. <laughs> yeah, probably. Brick being we ain't dude from the previous... <laughs> oh, Joe, you messed it up. What? I said that Wander tried to travel, but... <laughs> Joe's in a menu. Oh, I was in a menu too. Uh, I actually do want to sell something real quick. Uh, oh, let me hold up. Let me. I probably oh, need I got to sell a bunch of yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, let, it's let probably. Me just make sure I'm empty. It's probably a good plan, though. I think it usually drops us right next to vending machines. Though so, yeah, I, I wish usually. there was an easier way to compare what you have in your inventory. So there is. You know it's pressing E, I think. Yeah, E is compare. Okay. It's you know how the game is though like it's still not always 100% like what you see is what you get. Some of these guns are just you just got to try them to understand like incredible yeah, like e some of them this have. This gun this gun has an arc to its shots which I can't wait to try. Yeah, this one I got from Moxie. Eh, it's actually pretty much what it says on the tin act. But I'll still give it a try. Uh so are purples and pinks better than golds or golds better than I think like, I don't I know where reds Gold is the best, and then there's yeah. Red. I don't know where red stand, but I think uh, that might just be unique to to Moxie. Okay, I want to say it's gold, red, purple, blue, everything else. But it might be it might actually be the reverse. The reds below purple, but I don't know. They seem good. I'm gonna use them, and when they're not good, I'll switch them out for something else. Yeah, just the way it goes. What you gotta do is everyone good i've sold all my biz yeah i'm good when in doubt shall just yeah i just I'll sell whatever and i mean honestly guns are guns to some degree mm -hmm. that makes sense <laughs> yeah i think some people would disagree with you <laughs> yeah <clears throat> I mean, I really should just empty out my inventory occasionally because they stack up and then I want to grab something new and then I can't. Joe, I already summoned your, your vehicle. Ah, okay. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I'll... I'm on the seat here. One. Well, I guess you guys get the party bus. Yeah, Moose, jump in the back. <laughs> okay. one of the, this is one of those four people. Here we go. All right, uh, I follow. <laughs> even. Uh, also... I murder. Where, where even is this one? It's like right behind us. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Up the hill. Thank God we didn't have to walk up that hill. How are we <laughs> driving our vehicles across this rickety little bridge? By the way. Ooh. Don't worry about oh, it. I don't want to think about that one. <laughs> Thousand cuts. So this is the location that he was describing. All right. Oh, oh yeah, this place gets so cool. pretty Angela's hairy, like but it's fun. Guy. That's where the so it's a, if you just want some good Slide firefights, you know, you want some of that Willem Dafoe, some of that firefight, some of that Boondock control. Saints, some of that firefight, then this is it. Ooh, Caustic Goliath. That's filthy. Just not on that one. Yep. I don't even know where the enemies are. I don't either. <laughs> okay. I'm like well, just, just firing in a like, direction, uh... hoping there's an enemy that direction for me to kill. <laughs> yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, it's that red for a second. Where did we go? Oh, muscles. Where are you? Muscles. Ukatsu. Muscles. Holy crap. This is a rapid fire shotgun? That's awesome. Yeah, I should use up some of this biz. Wow, man, that grenade is so good. Oh, crap. But I forgot. Grenade hurt self. Grenade hurt self. Oh, that's fine. I'm shooting a metal thing. Just to confirm it, the guy goes, It's eating through the metal! That's cool. Very helpful. I appreciate that. Yeah, Muscles is really strong. God, Muscles, like, for real. Calm down. Killing me. Ding, ding, ding. He's killing me! Ah. Wait, where are you? Thank he's you. back here. Ah. Or she's oh, back Shell, here. you got her? I got her. I'm gonna try. Oh, he has Oh, shoot. I got her. Now I'm down. Okay. Why are there so and many I am Muscles? Down. Oh my god. Holy cow. I got you, Moose. Oh, are we about no, to get I'm down. team wiped? No, 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 no. I'm back oh, up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, thank you. 
Oh, thank God for you. Oh, that's oh, a raging Goliath. That's oh, like, that's I couldn't get him. Awful. Thank God for you, Peter. Oh, wait. Someone saved me. Oh, thank God. I, I got you. Right I got you. Thank you. Oh, there's a there's a ship flying overhead. Yep. <laughs> Is there an ultimate muscle, though? Got that. Okay. So, like, oh, fighting so, Fudons and muscle. ultimate muscle. Yeah. That I watched this. I really wish that I, I need to acquire those and watch those again. I need to have like a watch night with y'all. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, like someone came into our chat the other day and was like, their name was Fry Ricer, and I was like, never mind. Oh, dude. Fried Ricer. And, and they're like, yeah, that's why I named, that's the name where it's from. I'm like, oh my god. I know. Fighting flipping food on. I know like, no most of the lyrics question. to the Ultimate Muscle opening. Now, here's the question. I'm, oh my god. Outer space. Does this guy have a oh, This guy has a, a, a gambling machine on his back. Human race. <laughs> He's like I just took the whole thing. I couldn't stop. I it told me I had to leave. And speed and flatulence. <laughs> god, just like Yokai Watch. That's probably the one thing that helped that stopped it from becoming like actually popular. Like Yokai Watch is like good like Pokemon. Oh but yeah, I've heard of it. It's got fart characters in it, and so everyone's like, nope. Oh no. Do you remember the toilet that he me. fought? Well, I'm not surviving that. <laughs> oh wonder. Nah, it's fine. I was just like, oh no, it's boom time. I uh, jump the gap. Nope. Oh, I had spawned me on the right side. Awesome. What what other stream that got? To? Oh, I randomly thought of this. Uh, so we did get our car back, but Joe was telling me that there are mysterious clothes in the back of our car now. Okay. <laughs> now, normally one would immediately jump to the conclusion that this clothes is left over from one of the mechanics, right? Uh -oh. But whereas also weird. The car? Two the, whereas two of the shirts make sense. Oh, Shell, that's that's a good point. That's why I was that. thinking they use your freaking car. Two kind of, annoying. Yep. of the shirts. <laughs> Makes sense. They're like workman's shirts. One of them is a child sweater that has sharks on it that I've never seen in my life. Do you know what? I've. And so someone someone drove home and was like, hey, honey, you know how you always said you wanted to drive in a Volvo? And they're like, yes, father, yes. 1991 Volvo. <laughs> yeah, you, you always wanted to drive in a 91 Volvo? Well, you see, you see, papa. And then they got to get in a 91 Volvo because they left their freaking shark sweater behind, though. <laughs> There are some times where I, I've i taken my car in for, say, you know, a oil change and a tire rotation, right? And uh -huh. when you get the car back, you go, wait a minute. They only... Where are you guys? There, and how did I leave you all behind? There's so much space on this lot. <laughs> I don't know. How did how did my car get an extra, like, my two God, or three muscles. miles on it? Yeah. It's like, I don't... We got to kill muscles and, and get shell back. Uh, looks like we'll drop muscles just and in they, time. This was a reputable place. So I was Yeah, confused. this place too. It had like really good reviews. Get shell, get shell, get shell, get shell, get shell. Uh, Yelp oh no, shell's though. back. I'm Never mind, here. get me, get me. Get me now. <laughs> oh, you, you How have did him. I leave you guys behind? I died and respawned like right next to the objective. And I'm just like, should I just go? Yeah, we don't know how to get across. Or we have to go this way? Well, I, huh? I'm just going to go and hopefully I'll just hit an area transition. How do we get over there? No, I don't you know. Oh, Die. No. Oh, God. Oh, okay. My oh, answer man. is Die. death. Lift and kill. Oh, God, he left behind his midget. Ah. Oh, angry Ow. midget. Oh, boy. Dusty was just a puppy. Oh crap! Okay, that worked though. Ah. Uh, those were. Wait. Huh? Oh god! I was like, wait a second. There's two shells. <laughs> right. That was the little deception thing going on. Oh. Your dying sounds are disturbing. Oh, hey, I feel like this every looks like dying some sound kind... should disturb you. Oh, yeah, what are... is this? It looks like a, an altar of some sort or a. You know, I bet we relic. stumbled upon. I bet we stumbled Ooh, upon like okay. a side quest thing that we're gonna want to come to. But yeah, this looks crazy funky. What'd you guys find? It's it's just a little big Close. altar. Yeah, yeah, it has uh, a lot of iridescent purple lines coursing across it. Oh, so, might be iridium? Well, it's maybe it's some kind of iridium-based occult thing that they're worshipping yeah. or whatnot. 
It's odd okay. because this is like this is like Brick's hideout, huh. which is just confusing. Yeah, the thing that we found oh, doesn't damn. really add. It doesn't really fit into the surrounding. Could be alien stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Godzilla says, you got some mechanics clothes and a children's sharks shirt. Last time we got our car fixed, they ended up draining the brand new battery. Oh, <laughs> which is my God. Really, which is really crappy. It's terrible. I know. You know what? That's, that's <laughs> Let's see. Sorry. I got distracted by Jack yelling at me. Um, <laughs> I like to read uh, uh, legal advice threads. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're all we together finally met up. Yep, we finally found you. Um, oh, I guess they're now. So, wow, yeah, I respawned way past the objective. Oh, because I left the gorge and it got me close to the respawn point. That explains uh, things. Uh, but I like to read legal advice threads, but it's not uncommon for me to read a thread like, the mechanic decided to go joyriding in my, uh, my like, $100,000 sports car. I then crashed it, and now they're trying to bill me for it. Uh, what? Oh. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I mean, they are using when, when you're in that people's cars for though, reverse errands and stuff. That's yeah. like that's like some beginning of Hercules. You knock over the columns situation. <laughs> that that's like some beginning of Bugs Life and you're flicking. Oh, you lost all the colony's Lord, food, God. kind of things. Like I would also <laughs> try to gaslight someone into paying for it. Like that would be like a because last resort. Because what else are you gonna do? Yeah, like yeah. what else can you do other than be like I completely a pineapple upside down effed up. So <laughs> I do love legal advice threads because sometimes it's like my employer is refusing to pay me. Is this legal? <laughs> we especially like the ones with the trees. Oh, you know, dude, tree we went on vacation great. and our neighbor cut down our, you know, grove of potentially a couple hundred year old trees. Oh, oh my god. You could pay the yeah. trees. Have you not watched Ark King Hunger Force? Get ready. Well, supposedly in one thread, the person had like a sequoia in Idaho. Or not Idaho, it was it like was, Illinois It was in a state where sequoias do not grow. And so the person cut it down, actually profited it from the limber, the lumber, sorry, not the limber, the lumber, like they sold the lumber from the tree off, the slaver. For a buttload of money because sequoia lumber is very expensive. And horrible. How do we get into where Wander is? And then they. Oh, yeah. uh, you dropped down? Oh. Oh, we gotta drop in? Yeah, I must have missed the drop. Uh, not here. Uh, Look for the fist. Uh, I see. And... Yeah, so it on top like of. Close to it. Profiting from the destruction of the tree. No, 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 no. Go up, go up, go up. Oh, up the stairs. Yeah. There we go. There's even I'm arrows pointing up the stairs. I'm directly below it. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, so appar apparently selling the sequoia was actually like a super felony. I yep. think that was the. Uh... And also right, the, the like cost to, have, to grow yeah. another one was going to be astronomical. And they were like, you know, there's the possibility that another tree like this will never be able to take root here again. <gasps> oh my god. The fact that it was in Illinois or That's Iowa. That's so sad. God. That's infuriating. It's so bad. Like, come on, man. It makes your oxygen. But oh, in the case of the one person who had a bunch of, I think they were like oak trees that were along the side of their property. Um, the person had oh. cut down like 10 of them and each of them were so old that they estimated that it would be over $100,000. Each. Oh God. So yeah. the, the neighbor ended up juicy. losing their home. The, the this, bad why would you take tree down law. someone else's tree? <laughs> Dude, that's Can why I read it. <laughs> yeah, there are a bunch of tree lawyers, yeah. actually. Yeah, then we go to law school. That's crazy. Dude, I love plants and trees and stuff. I, wanna, I would go to law school now. I can it's always understand like way nothing. After the fact. It is all yelling. It's always... <laughs> It's always way after the fact that I realize how something in school could be useful. Because, like, when I was in school and they were like, learn math. And I was like, why? And they're like, because you might use it. And I was like, why? And they're like, you know, for science maybe. And I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. So screw, screw math. And then I decided I wanted to learn coding and programming. And I was like, well, need shoot, that I'll, learn, I'll learn math now. So now yeah. I know math. But dude, I, I, I always hated that for trees. I always hated that in school. I, I didn't like ask. It's like, okay, so what is this used for? And the teacher literally didn't have an answer for me. And all I needed to know is like, what is the practical application of like this like obscure use? One use. That's all I'm asking for. I remember a uh, math teacher in sixth grade had this poster and it was like, 
you are the biggest different careers, this little spreadsheet thingy. It's bricks. And like different careers, and it's like different game. levels of math you'll need. And I remember distinctly that the lowest slap. level of math you would need per career would be to be a DJ. You only need like sixth grade I'm math, and I was like, I'll be a DJ then. <laughs> Whatever. Hate the math. Yeah. Now that you're one of us, my buzzers could help you take her down. Oh, look at this sarcastic slab. He's clapping. In. And I can oh, also God. kill him. <laughs> oh. ah, we were Sorry, shocked. that was my fault. That was my fault. It's okay. Just the sarcastic slab started coming out and clapping, and I, it, it had a red meter, so I killed it. <laughs> one thing led to another. <laughs> you killed our only remaining teammate. Because now we are slabs. <laughs> He was so sarcastic, well, though. I'm sarcastic. You can't kill me. You're not assault. nearly Target like you, you didn't see the way the guy was clapping. <laughs> uh oh, we got some enemies uh -oh. outside. Oh crap! Slab, we gotta stop those mortars, or there won't be All right, nobody prepare yourselves. You oh, oh, hold up! Some of you guys need some healing. Here we go. Do you think and anyone has ever appropriately slap clap? Like, been like, this is exactly the moment I should have slow clapped. No, like, like, and then they actually did it. And everyone's like, whoa, that was like a good moment. Like, I feel like if anyone tries to slow clap in real life, it's just cringy. Um, well, I mean, at this or point, just maybe. Awful. I think the problem <laughs> is, amongst your friends, there wouldn't really be a situation in which you. Yeah, do uh, that. Unless, unless you know that, like, the person is not going to get upset about it, it's usually not worth it. And if you were to do that in public during something, and under in what circumstance would you? Yeah. Uh, Moose, Godzilla's brother heard you say the DJ thing. He goes, hell yeah, sister. <laughs> Which is significant because we're gonna convert uh, Godzilla's brother one of these days. I know. Uh, Godzilla's been uh, watching. Well. Yo, anyway, for a very long time, and his brother has been listening from the other room for a long time, but refuses to watch. Yeah, he's, he's, got a, he's got a commitment problem, Godzilla's brother, <laughs> but we'll, we'll get him. We'll, we'll get, get him. him one day. We're coming for you, Godzilla's brother! <laughs> Who is Godzilla's? Does, does Godzilla canonically have a brother? Was it was there one of the movies where uh, the twist was that Ghidorah was Godzilla's brother? Because we're we're coming oh, to Ghidorah. Right. Well, I remember when he had I mean, Mechagodzilla kind of sort of. Oh, Mechagodzilla okay. was just their the aliens' attempt at making a clone. Yeah, but like I mean, it's it's that's like. And I really like it how they had the lady on the beach sing the song to summon King Caesar. God, that so, was such a stupid do, everything. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still remember awful. Godzilla. I remember Godzilla versus Mothra, and the two little tiny green-screened twins uh, singing the Mothra song. Because that was yeah. like one of the first VHSs Wait, that actually belonged them to with me. Songs? Yeah, uh, I, I think know. anyone that's not Godzilla, it's a song. Uh, the only actual <laughs> piece of media from Godzilla that I owned as a kid was on my ninth birthday. A friend got me Godzilla versus Mothra on VHS. Ah. Wait, that Which was a was birthday present? Ironic because I'm horrified of moths. Yeah, that's but a weird. I still found it uh, really? fascinating, you know? Like, well, Moose, like, you're horrified of spiders, but, like, don't you like watching, like, Rainforest Spider documentaries? I do and love whatever? Eight Legged Freaks. That's a, it's a great yeah, film. So, you know, the, like, it's, so, what I, about I like moths it. are frightening? Because they're, they're like butterflies, but erratic. You never know where they're going to go. And in my <laughs> childhood, I had one too many experiences where they went in my eye or down my throat. <laughs> Yeah, ah, and uh, why they or not? they or lunar moths would sit on my window and flap their wings and look like a gigantic maple leaf, or they would swoop at my head. I don't know. You know. 